Christ in you, the hope of glory. Welcome to Word Out of Mercy. And my name is Emmanuel Swa. Hope you've learned a lot from the previous editions or previous episode of Word Out of Mercy. Today is another day of which we are going to give you another one from Ephesians chapter 4. Stay tuned. God bless you. Ephesians chapter 4. I, therefore, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you are called to the one who that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all or and through all and in all. But grace was given to each one of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. Therefore it says, when he ascended on high, he led hosts of captives and he gave gifts to men. In saying, he ascended. What does it not mean but that he also descended into the lower regions, the earth? He who descended is the one who also ascended far above all the heavens, so that he might fill all things. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body in Christ until we attain unity of the faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried along by every wind of doctrine by human cunning, by craftiness and deceitful schemes. Rather, we may grow up in love. Rather, we may grow up in every way into him who is the head, in Christ, from whom the whole body joined and held together, by whom, when it is equipped, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow, so that it builds itself up in love. Now I say and testify in the Lord, you must no longer walk as the Gentiles do. In the fertility of their mind, they are darkened in their understanding, alienated from the life of God because of their ignorance that is in them, due to their hardness of heart. They have become callous and have given themselves up to sensuality, greedy to practice every kind of impurity. But that is not the way you learn Christ. As you will have heard about him and were taught in him, as the truth is in Jesus, to put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life, and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Put on your new self, which is created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor doing honest work with his own hands so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Let no corruption talk out of, let no corruption talk come out of your mouth, but just as it builds up, as it fits the occasion, so that it may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed on the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, doing along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. Amen. The word of God is spirit and life, refreshes